So yeah, I kind of decided I didn't like having a block fringe. I agree with Danny that stereotyping can be good and bad, as long as your stereotypes are used appropriately. I mean, it's part of human survival that we categorise people, so we know the sort of people to either avoid or that we can approach. Sometimes those judgments are wrong, but in general it helps us get on in life. To an elderly person it may not be unreasonable to think that most teenagers aren't particularly friendly because there are actually quite a few that aren't. I'm not saying it's a majority, I mean I don't know personally of any really bad teenagers but obviously there are some and as a measure of caution an elderly or a vulnerable person is not wrong in assuming that anybody could be. But that only goes as far as them protecting themselves, not discriminating against somebody just for the sake of it. I mean one example is that at college I sometimes got a public bus home and there would often be quite a few elderly people getting on the bus on a Friday because they'd been to the Friday market and I would always let them on before me and some would just look at me completely shocked like oh my god a nice teenage girl what is happening in the world and I would feel special I would honestly feel like I had done a really really good thing even though it was just common decency but then I would see these teenage lads who in my eyes didn't look at all threatening but they were teenage lads and these elderly people would deliberately try to get on in front of them and make them feel bad for not offering and they didn't give them even a chance to offer I mean even if they hadn't have offered that doesn't make them bad people or rude people it just makes them slightly ignorant teenage lads and let's face it a lot of teenage lads no offense to any of you lot because I am the only girl on this channel but lads I'm gonna stereotype here but lads don't tend to have the best manners in their teenage years and I am saying this because I have a teenage brother and have seen many teenage lads who are less likely to let somebody on a bus but not because they're horrible people just because it's not something they think of anyway my back to my point these elderly people would then talk about how rude these lads were and and give them funny looks and all this sort of stuff and it just felt really unnecessary and rude of them but as I said in general stereotyping in some situations can protect you for example I wouldn't like to be alone around a group of men I'm not saying I think all men are going to attack and rape me or anything like that but it's just a general survival thing to be safe rather than sorry in terms of personal stereotypes being overweight tends to lead to people thinking I overeat or I eat real crap or I'm really lazy and stupid I like eating yes but I'm not one of these people that's always eating or has to always have loads of horrible yucky food I do quite like healthy homemade meals and in fact things like chocolate make me feel ill after too much so I can't have too much I just unfortunately have crap genes that make me big and weight never contributes to intelligence it's just a pity that in media it is the overweight slobbish people that are generally stupid and that is an example of bad media stereotyping I mean there are slim stupid people in media but it does tend to be overweight characters I mean the, the main example that comes to mind is Homer Simpson also go along with labels like nerd uh, dork, geek, what other labels have I been given along those lines? Dweeb. All the sort of things that relate to having enthusiasm about something or being somewhat intelligent or something. With those sort of stereotypes? With those sort of labels comes the stereotypes of being a bit goofy, um, an outcast, the big glasses, the shirt and tie. I'm not describing you James I swear <laughs> oh yeah being quite tall slim not particularly attractive by society standards quite socially awkward those sort of things and yes to a certain extent I am 
socially awkward and a bit of an outcast. But in terms of other stereotypes which are usually related to appearance, I'm none of those. And again, that's a bad sort of stereotype. I understand it's used a lot in media. Whenever you have like a nerdy or a geeky character, they do tend to be the somewhat unattractive male, tall, slim, glasses, shirts, that, that sort of image. With the goofy laugh and the I'm a bit socially awkward sort of behaviour. And that just paints a very defined image of people in life in general. <sighs> Words. I'm being a Danny now, I can't talk. I actually don't even know where my point was going now. I got distracted by the whole being a Danny thing because I didn't mean I'm being a Danny, I mean I'm doing a Danny. But then that doesn't work either because I'm not doing him. No offence, I wouldn't want to do you, but I'm not. And I won't. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Bye guys.